What up? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is day 74. Ah, day 74. Dave's Daily D. Dave's Daily Discussions D3. We're just going to keep on rolling forward with these videos. Or it's going great. I need, I need a drink of my coffee. I haven't had a drink yet. Ooh, it's good this morning. So, I apologize for some of the late videos that we've been posting. We, as in me. And, uh, the issue was I was having some phone issues and then having to re record, and then I record the video and it's got to upload to YouTube and do its thing. So, it's been kind of a mess. I think I've got some of it cleaned out. Um,. Instagram, I had to Google it. I had to delete Instagram and reinstall it because my Instagram was taking up. I cleared the cache. It was only so many megabytes, but the app was taking up like 15 gigs of storage. It says that if you post often, which I'm posting five to 20 minute videos one to two times a day for the past 73 days, it says that uh, if you just delete it and reinstall it, log back in, you're fine. I did that and it cleared some space. I uh, was able to clear some space in some other areas. Um, I took my internal storage from like 99% down to like 50 or 53%. So that's helpful. Um, I think I got some things adjusted to where things are supposed to save to the memory card instead of internal storage. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know if it's this Galaxy S9 Plus. I don't know if it's this My, My Files app that's on the phone. If maybe I should delete that app. But anywho, we're just going to move move on from that and not gonna spend too much time so uh yesterday's video if you didn't watch yesterday's video for day 73 um you should watch it especially if you're having a lot of bad days or negative energy or rough days and stuff like that you're struggling you're unhappy you're flustered any of those things go watch yesterday's video it's 17 minutes but i promise you it's 17 minutes that might give you some insight on some different things um that's what my goal is in, in these videos is to help people kind of get past and, and get to that heightened area to where um they're in a in a sense of uh happiness to where they can't be touched that's where i'm at and uh it is attainable you really just got to put your time into your passions and and actually just start doing instead of saying start doing instead of sitting still doing nothing so it can be accomplished you should slow down and get off my butt buddy uh, that's a butt buddy he's in he's in a hurry and his nice dodge um so today this morning i just had the random thought uh we encounter a lot of people throughout life we encounter a lot of people in our daily why are you? Why were you riding my butt if you literally were pulling into your house twenty yards later? <laughs> you gotta love when somebody like rides up on you on a stop sign, like before you even stop, like you're afraid to actually truly stop because they might rear end you. One of those. But back on pace here. <clears throat> so we encounter a lot of people. Sometimes that's quick encounter. Other times it's people we know. We might know them for month six months years those interactions can last those interactions can dissipate they can simmer in, in the fire on those encounters and whatnot can just slowly fade um, also those encounters with those people depending on how long even if it's a day or a month or a year um, those encounters can also leave impactful memories positive or negative so number one be aware of who you're around who you surround yourself with your mind and your body is like a temple so if you're allowing negative people around you and there's a lot more to just negative. I mean, if you're letting people who are constantly negative, constantly hateful, constantly just bashing 
other people, judging other people. There's no positive complimentary side of, to them. They just want to dwell on the past and say that I am the way that I am because of this. It's not true. It's not true. I mean, you can be a product of your environment, but you don't have to be. You, you don't have to be. You can, you can be anything you want. You really just have to realize that life is beautiful and, well, you're in the driver's seat. Everything is your fault. Anything that has happened to me is my fault. I could have done something to avoid it, and if I couldn't have avoided it, I could have did something to change my mindset on it. So if you have not grown or learned from something and you're dwelling on it, that means that you're holding on to it for some reason. There's a grudge. You feel some type of way about it. You haven't let go or accepted it, and that's your problem and nobody else's. So um, if you are doing those things, you got to let go. Life's way too short to, to hold all that inside and, and project it onto others. I mean, just it doesn't make you a fun person. Flip side, um, if you breakups, things that happen with past friendships, if you just you hold a, a hate towards somebody of that nature, um, holding hate in your heart. The analogy that I got from a, it was uh, an Eminem song from an album that most people probably never even listened to. Um, somewhere between 2010 and 2013, I'd have to guess. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was from the XV album. Um, it was Lion, basically. And I don't even think it was Eminem. I think it was somebody else. I don't remember if it was Bad Meets Evil or who it was. But it said that... Uh, dwelling and, and having hate towards somebody is letting them live inside of your head rent-free. Think about it. If you owned a place and you were renting it out, you were trying to make money off of that place, and you let somebody live there, and they were not paying you, and you could not get them out of there, they're living there rent-free. That means they are just, they're taking a place to live that you should be making a monthly wage off of, a month, monthly rent, a set, a set number off of, and they are taking away from you. So if you have hate in your heart towards somebody and it's been weeks, months, years and you still have this hate towards this person, anytime you see them, hear about them, somebody else encounters them, you just get shitty, irritated, mad, you get, you shut, whatever. If you, if you react in any sort of negative way, you're letting that person control you and they're not even in your life anymore. They're literally controlling you. They're in your head. They're living in your headspace rent-free because you've just not accepted that, eh, whatever. It's over with. It doesn't matter anymore. There's no reason to hold on to it. I mean, there's, there's no reason to have hate and these hateful tendencies in, in society, especially grudges against people that you know. It's, it's a different time these days. You can't really do much about anything. I mean, you can, but... I mean, there's consequences. So, I mean, there's a time and a place. But at the end of the day, it's really... Just let it go. Let it roll off your back. No skin off your nose. Not going to cry over spilled milk. Just take, take the moment to deal with it. Accept it. Move on from it. There's really... There's really nothing else you can do. I mean, what are you really doing by having that negativity inside of you holding on to that grudge <clears throat> you're just reading and allowing this negative energy to grow within you and that person can tap into it anytime they want they want to show up drive past your house they want to comment or message you or some say something and somebody else will tell you hey they said this about you just the little things that they're going to get under your skin because well for some reason you think that their opinion matters or what they have to say has any weight towards you and it, and it causes disruption in the waves in your water around you. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when, when people want to speak up and say anything ill will towards me or want to give any hate, which I don't really have much of that at all, but if anybody does, the biggest one that I get is people say that I, I think I'm a know-it-all and I don't. I'm just an intellectual person, and if I have knowledge 
or an opinion or I've researched something, I'm going to let you know what I know. That's what I talk about in videos is if you are wrong on something or you have a, an opinion or a view that's different, I might show mine and then we can we can work with it. But some people take it as, oh, you think you're an old all, you think your way is better. That's not the case. Uh, but that's what I get is a lot of people say, oh, you think you're an old all, you think you know everything. And, well, it's not true. But live your dream. So I take that energy from those people who say that and I let it feed me. Literally feed me. I say, alright, well I'm gonna show you. Here's another video. Alright, well, I'm gonna show you. Here's what I'm doing. And I'm not gonna tell them, I'm just gonna do it. They can find out eventually on their own what I got going on. That I'm not sitting here twiddling my thumbs wondering how to make somebody else mad or ruin somebody else's life. It's, hey, I'm I'm grinding. I'm, I'm working towards something here. I want my own house, my own space. I want my career to continue taking off. And I want to enjoy my time with my dogs and we'll see if eventually I can settle down with somebody. But not overly worried about that either. With that being said, circling back to interactions with people especially our, our friends your close friends your family members don't be too big or too macho to realize that that this life is precious our time is valuable and one say I love you often I know uh, before my buddy Jason passed away, I mean, any time, even before I found out, like, hey, this is happening, um, shoot, we, almost any time, we hung out after bowling, we were bowling the league together for a couple years, I mean, any time we were going to part ways, I mean, we would just, we would just say, hey, I love you. There's nothing weird about it. When you have respect and loyalty and true just you're you've got somebody's back you're there for them you care about them you should be able to say I love you to that person without it being weird or sexual or romanticized it's I appreciate you I have love for you just want to let you know just in case for some reason while I drive home or while I'm doing something something unfortunate happens and takes me away um, we ended that last conversation with an uh, hey I love you brother hey thank you I love all that you do just those things just that little so many people miss out because unfortunate things happen and they ended up ending the night on a bad note instead of just swallowing their pride or their ego and just appreciating that person so that's that's one major aspect um, the other thing is especially for your teenagers out there um, I know I was this way back in my teenage days there's a lot of times where you just want to just you don't want to spend time with your family or sometimes your friends want to do stuff and you're like eh I just want to chill I don't want to do anything I'm just gonna sit here and play video games or whatever get out and experience life Take advantage of situations. Go on trips by yourself or with a friend, with a trustworthy friend. Make sure it's somebody that you trust. Um, let your family and people know where you're going and whatnot so that if anything did happen, they're aware. Um, but ex experience life. It's so important, especially as a teenager or a young adult, before you really before you own a house, while you're still living with mom, or while you might be renting, or you might be renting with a with a roommate or roommates or something, um, enjoy yourself. Like live live within your means is very important for all of us, and it starts at a younger age. That's a thing that we miss um, that we're not really taught well is to live within your means. I mean, you start working and making money, especially if you come from a family who didn't really have it all. I mean, your parents and your family did what they could, but I mean, 
if you didn't get to go on trips, you didn't get to do this or that, once you start working and making money, start making that bread, uh, man, you can start impulse buying. I went through it. I didn't have a bad life, but I mean, my family never went on major vacations. I think I took one vacation in life, and it was because my grandma died. We went to go visit family in two states. That was my one vacation with my family. The other one was going to Florida for my brother's wedding. That was the best vacation I ever had. So I'm taking a vacation tomorrow for five days. I'm going to North Carolina to meet my best friend in 12 years. For the first time, I'm meeting him. And uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to do that. So enjoy life. Live within your means because Ricky can attest to it too. We've always talked about it like you start making money and those impulse buys. Like if you, if you didn't have things everybody else had all the time or you didn't get to go on trips and do stuff with a fan with your family because they were way too busy working multiple jobs or just trying to get by I mean you start making money on your own you you want to do better for yourself um, and you have to find a mental capacity to realize okay I still have to with, live within my means because I'm gonna fall into that same trap that my parents are in or whatever I Especially if you're going to have kids and have a family, you want to make sure that you're setting them up for the better life. So living within your means is very important. But while you're young, before you have that house payment, the major car payment, stuff like that, just live within your means and uh, go on trips. Go experience the world. Go out of, go out of state. Go out of country. Go out of the country and uh, go see other cultures. I mean... There's a lot of beautiful out there that even I haven't experienced. Um, so do that. Live within your means. Travel and enjoy life. And lastly, say I love you to your friends and family often. Talk to people, love them, and make sure that your interactions are positive interactions, that you're not surrounding yourself with negative people, negative energy, and make sure that you're not the negative in somebody else's life. This is day 74, Dave's Daily Discussions. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in for another long video. If you've made it this far in the video, like, comment, share. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, please. I'm um, trying, to, trying to get this thing going here. And uh, listen, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, I um, implore you to, to check it out because yesterday's video was pretty good. Today, I'd say, is pretty decent, too. Um, check it out. Let me know. Thanks, guys. Dave's Daily D. Peace.